Hey guys, Anu here, and uh, I'm in the third trimester of pregnancy. Baby's due just a few weeks. I um, just quickly want to share with you what I eat for um, to level my sugar, my blood sugar, and also for good snacks throughout the day. Let me show you what I eat. So you can see this platter in my hand. Again, I'm in third trimester. I'm I'm like eating this thing as if it's my day job. So, Mama, Mama Africa, Africa, your, your children, children are home. home. So um, here, yeah, what you can do to um to conquer those pregnancy cravings, especially in third trimester. Yes, you still have cravings in third trimester. So uh, just the cravings and also to nourish my body and good healthy snacks. Banana is one of them. Rafa and Rafa is eating one of them as well. Orange, oh my gosh. We wake up in the morning, take an orange. Afternoon, we take an orange. Banana is really good too. Delicious. <laughs> but yeah. Look at the song. Delicious. <laughs> now, here, in here, I roasted some peanuts. Just some roasted peanuts. Grab a handful of it when you're hungry. Delicious, it goes well with the banana as well. So delicious. So that's that. Now did I tell you guys that we're expecting baby number five? Raphael here is my avocado baby, baby number four. Um so this is actually roasted soya beans. That is super. Okay. This is roasted um, soya beans. I roasted it myself. Um, I grab a handful. Mmm, delicious, and it's filling too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> when you start eating this, your mind will get away from junk food and stuff. This is delicious and healthy for you. Yes, and it's also salt free. Did you not? Oh, call it peanuts. <laughs> the peanut and the soya roasted soya beans. That's all free. So delicious. I keep mentioning that these things are salt free. Now, why is it important that you have salt free foods? If you take salt, your salt really affects you. It's the one that causes you the edema to swell. Now, take a good look at me. I don't need any salt or MSG or um, any type of salt. And the contour of my face is actually very visible. You, you don't gain the excess water weight. You don't swell like that. You don't have. Arthritis, you don't have water swelling, um, 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 depositing your joints, making it swell and making giving your arthritis, making it painful. Those um, arthritis you have in pregnancy, you can actually avoid that, that like that by avoiding salt altogether. No matter what the salt type is, M MSG, um, regular salt, Himalaya, whatever type of salt, as well as um, soya sauce, all those types, they're all. Anything that has sodium, just avoid it. Now, where do you get your sodium? You get it naturally in the fruits and vegetables that you eat. Pineapple is also a delicious, delicious um, healthy snack. You just cut some up and you eat. You're good to go. It's delicious. Um, avocado. I call this boy my avocado baby. This avocado, it's so, it's so refreshing. It's a healthy snack. Just eat it by itself. Eat it with um Mama. with your meal every meal. It's delicious Mama. and it, yes, oh, what camera I'm doing. And the type of fat it has is bound to the fiber. Bye bye. What you don't use, bye bye. you just poop it out. It doesn't stay on you. So you're looking very, very good and uh, and uh, all, also it also goes to the baby. The beneficial um effect of it goes to the baby as well. So this thing is really really important. <laughs> Ate avocado as if it was my day job when I was pregnant with uh, Raphael. Again, just 20 pounds. This boy came out eight pounds and eight and a half pounds. It was so healthy. It was amazing to see. Another one here, the mango. Mm, it smells so delicious actually. <laughs> I've eaten one already because I was I was I was getting hungry there, so I ate some. So delicious, so refreshing, filled with nutrient, micronutrient that you need. Um vitamins benefits right. you and the baby this one right here is a um i think it's, is it thai eggplant they have it here in the pearl of africa 
Uh, they have it in Nigeria too. That's where I grew up. I eat this a lot. It just it's like eggplant, but it has a little sweetness to it. Mm. Bittersweet, delicious. It's healthy. How to get your vegetables in too? Yeah, this way. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I already mentioned orange. Orange is a very easy way to go. Just peel some or cut in, in quarters and um, take them with the fiber and you're good to go. Gives you energy. Ooh! <laughs> Another one of my favorites. Papaya. It's called a pawpaw around there, but it's papaya. You see? Papaya. Mm hmm, papaya. You, you can just cut it into half. Oh my gosh. So sweet. <laughs> so bad, yeah. Yes, it's good for the whole family. All these foods I'm giving to you, I'm showing you guys. <clears throat> healthy snacks. It's also good for the children. This is also the healthy snacks we give them when they come back from school. These are the snacks that they that they eat. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Alright, let me put this boy down first. <laughs> and of course, let's not forget the watermelon. The amazing watermelon. You just cut it up and you eat it and give it the, to the whole family. It's so delicious. The joint ginot, the soya beans roasted without any salt. Um, we give our family, we give the children when we're hungry, when they're hungry, cut up a fruit, cut up um, some, um, some of this, give them some and they're good to go. And they go and go play and they're very, it's refreshing and it's filling too. So start incorporating this into your life today if you're pregnant you're a new mom and you're looking for ways to um, incorporate healthy foods into your life without that would cause you to gain all this excess weight swell or be bad for your gut health these are the ways to go the fresh fruits and the nuts and the and the roasted so yeah beans those are the ways to go allow me to keep enjoying my fresh fruit i was craving some some, something yeah. sweet, huh? I was craving something sweet and here I am. <laughs> mm, so refreshing. Well, just a little few weeks to go. And um, so that benefits me as well as the thing. So join me next time. I'll share more tips on how you can um, have a healthy pregnancy, he healthy birth. So I'm also follow along. I'm going to be doing an educated on assisted home birth here in the Pearl of Africa. So. Follow me along in that journey. Until next time, this is Anu. Bye-bye. Bye. Adios. Bye.